Hello, Landing Crew. Hi. So today's video is all about Liam. Me, me, Mama. Me. Liam is my 20-month-old son. He has autism spectrum disorder. He has been diagnosed as moderate to severe. This video is going to be kind of a continuation of. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> this video is going to be a continuation of my signs of autism in an 18 month old. I just went through the signs. I really didn't show them that much. And this video is going to be just seeing what autism can look like in a one year old. Every child is different. There really isn't a look to autism. I know the title might be a little bit confusing. What are you? No, no, sir. Oh. Every child is different. Every child on the spectrum is different, but this is all about Liam. Liam struggles with receptive language. He is currently struggling with verbal communication, engaging, I, I hear you, sensory issues. He does say mama and he says I did it, but he does not say it functionally, so he is still considered nonverbal. And this is the first perfect example. From there, it looks like he's looking at me in the eyes, but he is not. He's looking at my nose and mouth. And you love bouncing, don't you? He is currently in occupational therapy. He's in developmental therapy through the Early Intervention Service in Florida. And he is also in ABA currently. He is only in four hours of ABA a week because of his age. We're starting out really small just to make sure it does not overwhelm him. I am going to try to talk over parts that I feel kind of need an explanation to show you if your child does do these things or they do not. It does not mean they do or don't have autism. If you are concerned, please talk to their doctor. This is just one child with autism. Every child is different. I have a 12 year old that's autistic that is so different than Liam. So let's get going. Oh. Oh. Hey. No. Liam. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> Liam. Hey. Liam. Liam. Out. Liam, this way. Liam. Liam. No, sir. You want that? Liam. 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 Hand mommy the block. Hand mommy the block. So this is Liam with his OT therapist. She is trying to engage in joint attention. You can see she's talking to him, but he's not really responding to her in any way or even glancing up at her. When Liam walks by me, he doesn't even glance up to acknowledge me even after I've been rubbing his head. I am in the middle of the playroom and he walks literally inches from me, but doesn't really acknowledge that I am there. This is how it is anytime anyone is in the playroom with him. He will either walk around with his favorite object or he just finds his own thing to do and plays alone. I don't know if this is an autism thing, but he loves looking at his feet when he walks, but it's really cute, so I don't care. Liam has many different sims. A newer one is hand flapping. He does a head shaking sim a lot. It was actually his first sim. He loves, loves, loves jumping. When he gets frustrated, he tenses up his body. This isn't a sim, but it's sensory. He loves to go upside down no matter where he is at. We like doing it with him though, because it builds his core muscles, which he needs being a low tone baby.
Here you can see Lex and Lonnie Jr. playing, but Liam really seems to have no interest in it. Usually a typical toddler would be going up to them to engage in some way. But he still has his own fun way of entertaining himself. <laughs> I didn't get footage of this, but Liam loves putting everything in his mouth. He definitely has an oral fixation. Look, Sissy. Sissy's over here. Sissy's over here. One of the first things we noticed different about Liam was his inability to really recognize his baby sister Penelope as a human being and not a random item. Come say hi to Sissy. Look, here's Sissy right here. He still struggles with it. Liam, Liam, I think you're cute. Baby, baby sister. Liam has always been obsessed with cords and remotes. He definitely finds them out. Well, you're really cute to us, Penelope. That's all that matters. One other thing that struck us as different is instead of playing, Liam always spent most of his time just walking around with an item in his hand. Different items, but just loves holding on to them. He can independently walk, but he prefers to crawl still 40% of the time. I think he just likes how crawling feels and he is faster at it. He also seems to love how the carpet feels. Are you a dinosaur? You a dinosaur? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy watching all of Liam's signs. Now, of course, there are a lot of things that were not put into this video because my son is not a monkey and he does not perform tricks. <laughs> but I tried to include as much as I possibly could. I know that joint attention, I mentioned that near the beginning of the video. I know sometimes that is kind of questioned a lot. Like, what exactly is that? The best way to explain it is when a typical child is playing with maybe someone in their age, someone older, an adult. It's a lot of looking at the object, looking at the person doing it. So if you're blowing bubbles, they're looking at the bubble, they're looking at the person blowing the bubble, they're looking back and forth, it's back and forth. So all three of you, the two people <laughs> and the item are all having a playing time, if that's even a term. So when a child on the spectrum doesn't have that joint attention, it's usually when they're just fixated on the object. For example, during his evaluation, they did do the bubbles with him and he was fixated on the bubbles. As you saw with the OT therapist, he loved the thing that he was playing with, the little puzzle thing, but he never once looked at the person that was even talking to him to show any kind of attention. So that is joint attention. I really didn't show any sensory things. Some things were just hard to capture on camera. He has a lot of sensory issues, a lot of sensory seeking. He does like try to chew on himself, other people, a lot of chewing on everything. He does a thing where he like kind of bear walks, but he really doesn't bear walk. He like goes upside down between his legs while he's like bear walking. It's hard to explain without showing you guys. It's really cute. He loves going upside down so, so much. He loves, loves, loves loves sensory input, like so much. He loves the water, anything sensory, he loves. Of course, this isn't every sign of autism. If you're wanting a longer video, I would suggest my 38 minute, 18 month signs videos that I've done. I will of course put it in the description for you. This isn't everything he did. This isn't why he has an autism evaluation. These are just things that I felt like I could capture on camera that can sometimes be misunderstood or there are things that were already captured on camera. So if you guys are wanting me to do another video like this in the future, maybe a video like this for Noah or something like that, then just leave them in the comments below. It is harder to do videos like this. That's why I've never done it. I know everyone's like, you just talk about the signs, you don't show them. It's harder to try to capture every single sign of autism. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you guys tomorrow. Where you won't make me blind. You will always be there There's no doubt in my mind